The countdown continues for the top 10 phone taps of Christmas, and we're at the halfway point with number five. Yay. We're getting top five now, huh? And this one is one of the most popular phone taps that we do on the show. It's called To Catch a Cheater. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. These believe, are awesome. I can't believe this is only number five. Yep. Mm-hmm. And this time we expose a guy by using his biggest life dream, becoming a contestant on the game show Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> now, you'll see how he does in your number five phone tap of the year. You'll hear it right now. Hello? Hey, my name's Mike Chisel. I'm a producer on the show Jeopardy. Is this uh, Chris Uh, Yeah, this is, this is him. Hi, Chris. Yeah, I'm calling because we got your application to be a contestant on the show, and we're possibly interested in bringing you down to L.A. How's that sound? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Man, I, I applied for that months and months ago. I'm thrilled to hear from y'all. Yeah, uh, so um, I'm just looking at your application here, and it says you're an insurance agent and you're married? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, and how long you been married for? Uh, about six years. Ooh, six years. Probably the longest six years of your life. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how it is. No, I, I don't think I do, but um, cool. So, uh, Chris, look, we've been doing a lot of the contestant screenings over the phone you know, rather than flying you down in person. Okay, okay, yep. So we need to do a little bit of a run-through. We can just see how you are under pressure, if you're able to hold your own and stick to the rules, that sort of thing. Okay, so you're going to, like, give me categories and stuff like that? Totally. Like- so do I have permission to record this? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm... <laughs> I'm actually already getting kind of nervous. Jeez. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you won't regret this call for the rest of your life. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, here we go. All right. Let's do it. Contestant screen. Chris B- take one in three, two, one. This is you. Welcome. We're here with Chris, the insurance agent. Chris, welcome to Jeopardy. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Oh, absolutely. Best of luck, Chris. Let's go over your categories first. Your choices today are Famous Cheaters, When the Cat's Away, the Mouse Will Play, How Do You Sleep at Night, and finally, Get Your Crap and Get Out. Uh, All right, Chris, what are you going to go with? Let's do, uh, I guess let's do Famous Cheaters for 100. All right, let's get to your question. In 2009, this famous golfer was unfaithful to his beautiful wife with several women. Uh, Who is Tiger Woods? Yes, Tiger Woods is correct. You and Tiger have some stuff in common, do you, Chris? Uh, Yeah, well, we do play golf. You know, I'm not uh, obviously in Tiger Woods, but I've been working on my short game for about 15 years now. That's that's enough, Chris. We don't have to hear the whole life story. You are good with your stick, though, huh? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I suppose if you're talking about golf, then yes, I am. Yeah, that's what I've heard. All right, let's move on to your next question. Do you uh, want to stick with famous cheaters or you want to move on to another category? Uh, yeah, I guess let's do, what was the cat one that you said? When the cat's away, the mouse will play. <laughs> yeah, let's do that for 100, please. This esteemed profession statistically is involved in the most extramarital affairs. Uh, let's go with what is a doctor? Ooh, I'm sorry. The correct answer was insurance agents. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that really? The board doesn't lie, Chris. Only people do. Can I just say, is the category like cats or something like that? I don't, I didn't catch the connection between the two. Let's move, just move on. It's time for final Jeopardy. All right, Chris, you're going to have 15 seconds to write your answer down here. Here we go. Recently, this D-bag told his wife that he was having a business meeting with a co-worker. Turns out, he was just giving his co-worker the business. I'm sorry, I... Is this still the cheaters category, or what's going on? Ooh, try again, Chris. Just keep in mind, a friend of hers followed you to your co-worker's house that day. So, okay. would you like to guess again? Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about but this okay. needs to end right now this is sure. not funny well this i'm sorry not funny dude it's not funny because you've been fooling around on your wife and she's calling you out for it over the radio so you need to think about that turn the f-ing music off man oh, why are you getting so upset right now uh, look who is this who is this my name is jeff from brooke and jeffrey in the morning we're a radio you show hold on jeff you better hold on jeff because i'm gonna sue your ass and Time is up. I'm sorry. 
did not get the right answer there. We're actually doing something called to catch a cheater on you, Chris. This is bullshit. And if you're still confused, let me say the correct answer in the form of a question. What is you? You are the cheater. I'm not a How about that? I'm innocent. You framed me, mother Oh, really? Because your wife's friend has pictures of you at your co-worker's house, and she showed your wife the photos. Bullshit. So what are you going to do about that now? I'm going to come kick your ass is what I'm going to do. You're going to do what to my butt? That's a daily double. Shut the up. Ooh, I'm sorry. The correct answer was, what is butt hurt? Uh, go yourself. <laughs>